So this is uh, this is Monk's Mount at Cahokia Mounts. This is the big mount. You can see there's a staircase in the front, and we're going to walk up the stairs. So this was the center of uh, a great Mississippian kingdom here in uh, sort of uh, southwest Illinois the Illinois side of the St. Louis area today and uh, the city flourished from about 900 to uh, 13 something and it uh, this mound took uh, well it was built over several centuries so from the 10th into the 13th century they added to it added terraces to it It uh, is the largest ancient earthwork in uh, North America, or in the world, maybe. I'm not sure. I forget, even though I was at the museum here just a few days ago. But, um, anyway, this was the center of the great uh, Mississippian kingdom that was here back then. And uh, later on, when the French missionaries were exploring and evangelizing here, um, they planted wheat on this terrace, and they also built a church here. You can see there's a ways to go. No one's here right now, although it is a, a popular place to be. At the very top lived the, uh, the king, or the supreme chieftain of uh, the city, and he had uh, what seems to have been a temple or some kind of sacred precincts way at the back, at the highest level. And the different levels would have been sectioned off with wooden stockades. But of course, you can look up Cahokia on uh, YouTube and you'll find plenty of good documentaries and that kind of thing. So I'm just gonna walk around and give you a view of the panorama. So here we are at the third terrace. Over there's the museum. Over there the famous twin mounds. We're going to walk to the uh, Holy of Holies of Old Cahokia, so to speak, at the fourth terrace. Hopefully I don't run out of storage while I'm trying to do this. Here we are. The top of ancient Illinois, closest to the sun and stars. Monk's Mound, Fourth Terrace. There's a picture of what may have been here or what it may have looked like in its heyday. We'll look down the very back. You can see they let that side uh, grow wild. There are trees and bushes 